Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and I'm going to show you today where to get the blue TGC cape to get into the office. So just before we get into it, I know a lot of people are confused about these capes. You cannot buy this cape from a spirit, you cannot get it for free in the game. You have to pay real money for it. And it is not these two capes here. The teal and the dark blue ones do not do anything. I know a lot of people keep asking which cape it is. Neither of these. The only two ones that work are the TGC capes, which will have the That Game Company logo on it at the top here. So you'll only have access to these if you've purchased them. And they both do the exact same thing. This one here is completely unavailable to purchase. This was only from playing the beta um, and playing the beta before the game was released. So this one here has a white interior. That's how you know it's a beta player. And then the other one is the one that is available for purchase. Exact same color, but it has a black interior. So that's what they look like. There's not much of a difference, just the interior color is different. The white one is for beta players, and the black one is the one you can buy in-game. So just to go over, it is only these two that will let you into the office. The teal and the dark blue ones will not. They have to have the That Game Company hand on them in the icon. So I'm going to switch accounts so I can show you where to buy it, and we will head to the office. Okay, so I totally forgot that this account has the beta cape as well, because I played it in beta. Nice and easy. So let me see the teal cape available in the forest constellation and the dark blue one is available in the vault constellation so these two capes if you can get them from a constellation they won't let you into the office you have to pay real money and i'll show you where to find the office and where to buy this cape so the office is in the vault of knowledge we're just going to head to the left and back on that wall where the entrance sort of is There should be, yeah, like a little secret open area in the wall. And there's this area here with these flowers. It's very neat. This whole area is really cool. Here we have some under construction signs. And then here we have our first barrier. This barrier, you can see it has the blue cape with the TGC logo on it. So you do need this cape to get in. I'm sure there was ways to glitch through here. Uh, we have some office chairs. We have a ping pong table. And then we have this really cool area. Oh, let me show you that real quick. There's a tiny little house here. Very cute. So this area has a couple candles. Not enough to really be worth it for the cape, I think, but it's really up to you for the price. And if you have the cape on, this will open for you. So if you don't have the cape, you will have to hold a hand of someone who has the cape. That's the only way to get into the office, is you have to have this cape, or you're holding someone's hand who has the cape. You can't get through that barrier without it. So this is the office. Um, it is quite literally an office, and it is supposed to be based off of their real life office that they work in. So we'll get the cape first. We just head this way, down the little hallway. Ooh. And then there's this little sky kid here. Hey, look at me. Wait, you have the same cape as mine? How come? I thought it was an exclusive gift for me. Well, I guess happiness is only real when shared. Yes, yes. Bring your friends to me. I have something to share. So, now we should be able to buy the cape. We just go to the shop icon and... Ooh, it's not here. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to reopen the game. I think this is kind of a common problem. Just one sec. Okay, let's go see her again. 
Wait, I guess I don't have to go see her. Oh yeah, it's in the shop. All right, so it is the Founders Pack. It gives you the blue TGC cape, and you also get 115 candles with purchase. It is $29.99 USD. For me, it's a little more because I have a different currency. Um, I would say if you're going to buy a pack of candles anyways, it's kind of worth it. But if you're just looking for the cape, maybe not. There are some candles here you can, you can collect every day. I don't know if it really makes it that worth it. There's also, you know, it's a cool office. You can explore. There's some spirits to find here that change daily. They don't really give you any new emotes or anything. Oop. So let's explore the office real quick as well while we're here. Um, over here we have a chat table in the shape of a car. Please light. Please light. Okay, well, maybe we can just sneak in. Slow and steady. There, we're in the car. And you get to sit in the seat. I think you can fit four people in every seat. Beep, beep. That's one of the very strange things in the Sky Kingdom. Um, there is this area up here. What is it again? Oh, there's just like a spare room. Bleh. Oh my god. I can't fly. We'll walk. So yeah, there's this dark room. Nothing's really in it. There's some like desks. And in the back it looks like there's like a little bar counter. Bar stools. Like a kitchen or something for the office, maybe? I don't know. It's very dark in here. Whee! And then down here we have a little friend, a little ghost guy. I don't know if he has a name, like a fan name. It's pretty nice, just chills out. Um, entering here, so there's a spirit. These spirits kind of move every day. I do have a video on all of them, which I will put in the description. Some candles here you can collect every day. Here in their actual office, they have like a fan art wall. So there's this one here. And occasionally they actually do change the pictures on this wall. Uh, here we have what looks like a conference room. Oop. Sorry, the doors are a little finicky. You tap on them to open them here. Or you swipe and sometimes you accidentally tap again. Conference room. Eh. Uh, look at the desks we have There actually used to be a little krill in this plant, but I guess it's gone now it's Sort of a exercise ball. This person's got like a standing desk. I think that's newish. I haven't been in here in a while um, I think there's also uh, oh, yeah, there's a little cannon on this desk here tiny cannon There's some art on the wall Taking a look at all these desks. Uh, this one here has some sketchbooks and copics, so I'm assuming this is the desk of like a artist for the team. There's a cell phone there too. Uh, pizza. Another standing desk. There's this room here. I'm not sure what it's for. There is another exercise ball. This door here. So opening them's a little weird. Uh, there's a dog here. Someone's crying. Wow. Uh, we're gonna go to this room here. Open the door. Eh. There's some fish in the sky flying around. This room is filled with crabs. I feel like it's some sort of a meeting room, but I, I don't know. I don't work here, guys. I think the crabs here are really nice. Like, I don't think they'd run at you at all. But uh, we're going to take them um, on a little trip to the bathroom. There we go. Have a
have fun. Oh, the bathroom's flooded. There's another one there. Some sort of a table behind us. And then we have, like, the lunchroom. Big fancy fridge. You can actually glitch into the fridge and there's a secret in there. I'm not going to do it right now, though. And then we can sort of see the story of the game. Dawn is birth. Day is childhood. Rain is, uh teenager, sunset, adulthood, dusk, midlife, storm, aging, and death, and then rebirth is orbit, and those used to all be the names of, um, you know, the Isle of Dawn, prairie, forest. Here is, like, the sound designer's room, I assume. And now we'll take a look at outside. On the top of the office, there is a big cannon. Which, I guess we'll just take a little trip in that. Woo! And, uh, there's also this giant robot that walks around. Look at him go. You go through him now. I thought you could land on him before. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just crazy. And one of the final things here... Like, there's a lot more to see. There's a lot more spirits. There's some hidden stuff underneath the office sometimes. Which they should really put back. Because it's gone now. Um, there is this little boat. Canoe? Is this a canoe? Rowboat? And as you sit on it, it will sort of float around the entirety of the office. A little adventure. There's lots of seats on this boat, too. But yeah, that is pretty much the entire office, and also where and how to find the TGC cape to get into the office. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. Bye!